Hi, this is Tyler with FluidityStudio.com, and I'm going to be showing you my WordPress Catfish Ad plugin. I have a um, basic version, which is only text and very limited, but this full version is outstanding, and it gives you a lot of features. So what a Catfish Ad is, I'll get right into it, is an ad that comes up from the bottom of the screen. I'll show you how that works. Just refresh my page here, and you see this ad come up from the bottom, and it creeps up like a catfish does, comes up from the bottom up to the surface of the water for air, and then you can you know, close it out. And if there's a cookie set, well, there is a cookie set on it, but right now I've got it defaulted to one second so it comes right back, just so you can see how it, how it creeps up from the bottom. And you add your own custom images in here, and they click through to where you choose to click through to and tracks how many mouse overs and click throughs there are as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this all works. So we go over to our admin and this is uh, just a local WordPress installation on my local machine here and we're going to go down to plugins and once you purchase the plugin and you download it, the plugin is only ten dollars so once you purchase it, download it, you're going to go into your plugins, go to add new or you can go to add new here and we're going to go to Upload. Then we're going to go to Browse. And we're going to select the zip file and hit Install. And once it installs, it's going to create tables in your database to store all the information. Click, at, click Activate Plugin. Okay, and once you do that, you're going to see the, the Catfish Add uh, option on the side of your menu here. So we're going to click on that tab to go to the Settings page. And once you get here, you're going to see the first uh, section is Catfish Add Images. Now, the background image size must be or should be 79 pixels height and repeatable across the bottom. So you want to have a smooth image that's repeatable across the bottom. And the next one is the main ad image and must be 79 pixels height and 800 pixels width. So both of these actually need to be the same um, height and width. And it says here images must be in GIF format in order for this to work. So um, I'll show you here, I'm going to switch over to Photoshop and show you what I've come up with for my design. And I've started a new document in Photoshop that is 79 pixels height and 800 pixels width. And for me, I kind of like to, when I'm doing them, I generally like to have my background um, the whole image size is 79 pixels height, but I have my background only extend up to a certain point and usually a little lower than what I've got here. And you can kind of see this checker background in the back. That is just because I have the background removed, so that's showing me that it's transparent. So if I was to bring the white layer back in, you'd see that. So this from here down, oops, I moved it. This from here, from the top of the blue area down to the bottom is 73 pixels, but the full area is 79. So, and I'll show you where that comes into play later. So what I would do is I would, there's top layer here, I'll hide that, and that shows my background. So I would save this out as a GIF, and it would be a transparent GIF, um, and it would be 800 pixels width by 79 pixels height, and then I would save that as my background. And then the next one, I would save this again as my main image, okay? So once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and browse for the images. I'm going to upload the background. doesn't matter which one you upload first. Hit Upload and browse for my main image. Hit Upload. And you'll see you have thumbnail images so you know which one's which. And, of course, you can see the, the whole link to the images here. And you can delete them by pressing Delete as well. So say you have, a, you have them stored in here and you have a number of them stored for different advertisers you'll be um, running, then and you're not going to run any more, then you can delete the images for that particular one. So the first option we see in the settings is check this box if you want to enable the catfish ad. This is the last thing we're going to do because we, have, we don't want it to show up yet when we haven't actually set all of our settings. So... The first, the next section is the client ID for the analytics database. Now we're not going to do anything with this just yet. The enter the ID of the advertiser you added below. Now this is defaulted to one because that will actually be the first advertiser that you will have when you 
um, enter a new advertiser, that will be the first ID and it will auto increment from there. And the next one will be two and the next one will be three and so on. So you can just leave that for now. And the next field is the, the file directory for the images. So you're going to copy and paste the link to where the images were uploaded. So right here, we're going to go all the way up to just where the image is located, not the image itself. Whoops. I just pasted instead of copied. Let's see if I can, uh, well, here. <laughs> I had something copied already and I accidentally hit Control C instead of con or Control V instead of Control C. So we're going to replace that. So I've copied it. Now I want to come down here and paste it in. So just to the folder where the images are stored. And that obviously change depending on the year and the month that you're uploading images. And then the next area is the main image, the main add image. Enter the name of the main image you uploaded without the file extension. So example, bg.gif would just be bg. So in this case, it's going to be just cat bg and cat main. So the main image, I've already got it memorized here because I've entered it before is cat main and the next one is going to be cat bg and then these are uneditable fields this just means that your image images you upload need to be 800 by 79 now if it's larger than that it's going to crop it down so you want to make sure that they're the exact and if you're trying to upload an image that is smaller than that size it's going to tell you that it's not big enough so the next area is the advertisers website you're going to click through to. I'm going to do Google just for now. And then the ad cookie time. You may change the cookie time in milliseconds. Once the ad is displayed, if the user closes the ad or goes to another page, the ad will not show again for the set time. Default time is 10 minutes and format must be in milliseconds. Example here is one second equals 1000 milliseconds. So for this purpose only, the default time, like I said, is 10 minutes. I'm going to just do one so we can have it refresh and come back up again after one second, just for test purposes only. But if you if you know what you're like, if you use Google Analytics on your site and you're tracking how much time, you know, how much the average user spends on your site, you may want to just do it, you know, a hair. So say if it's just under five minutes for the average user on your site, you may want to set it to, you know, five minutes um, in milliseconds. That way you're not driving people nuts when they come to your site because they don't want to have to keep going to page after page and this thing keeps popping up. They'll never come back again, I guarantee it. So make sure you set it for a decent time and because it's going to, there's no way to turn it off. I didn't leave that feature to turn the cookie off. So it's, it's going to be there no matter what. So make sure it's a decent time. And then the close button settings. You saw that close button over here and you can change the background color to match the background of the main image or the main, you know, main background color, and you can change the text of the close button. So here we're going to match. Now, if I was going to, you know, choose in Photoshop here and color sample this, I know my color sample is 07212E. So I want to match that with this. And I've already actually got it here memorized. 07212E. And then the text color, I obviously want white. Now this hex code, there's there's all sorts of information on, on the internet if you're not familiar with hex code. Hopefully you are with all the things you have to do with settings in WordPress plugins that you might have and you've, you're familiar with this. But six Fs or even three Fs in hex code is, with a pound symbol, is color white. So you wanna make sure that you update those to the right settings. And I'm going to set my close button position to 73. Default will be 79 um, for the entire height of the ad. But mine is 73 because I know from top of this image right here, the top of the background down is 73 pixels high. So I'm going to hit Save Settings. Now I haven't checked this to, it, to go on the front side yet because I don't want it to. The last section down here is adding a new advertiser. So if we type in the name of the advertiser, I'm going to do catfish ad because that's what my ad is advertising for is my catfish ad. 
and I'm going to submit the advertiser. And then down below where it just said there are no advertisers entered, now you have one. So now we have this nice table structure showing us um, all the details. Here's the first ID, like I said, it would autumn increment, so the next one will be two. And the advertiser's name is here. And then we have zero mouse overs and zero click throughs. And then you can delete it here if you want to as well. So now that we have that, we're ready. So I can go ahead and click the check the box and hit save settings. And now I can refresh and the ad shows up. So if I was to, since it's only set for one second, if I was to refresh, the ad's gonna keep coming back. Well, it should. There it goes. So it finally got the cookie and it's refreshing. So it's gonna take, it comes back after a second. So I have to refresh, now it comes back again because that's it's taking a second for the cookie and then I refresh again and it'll come back. So if I, let's mouse over it to show you. So I mouse over and I mouse off. Now I go over to the bottom here and I refresh just to see that it counted our mouse over and there's our mouse over. So now we're going to go and click on it. Now it goes through to Google, which we set to go through to. And if I go back and I refresh, you see there's one click through. Now it's not going to count mouse overs every time you mouse over it. I'll show you the mouse over. It actually takes, see I refreshed and it didn't, didn't show. It actually takes a page refresh for the mouse over. Now it will continue to count the click throughs no matter how many times they click on it, but it's only gonna count the mouse overs on refresh. So if I mouse over again, I refresh, and then I mouse over again, and I refresh, and you'll see two mouse overs. So if we were to, here's an, another example, if I was to add another you know, advertiser name, just say advertiser. Now we have two, the ID of two. Now say we swapped out, we added, we up, uploaded new images and we came down here and we changed the name, you know, of those images we put up there. And we want to add, we want to, you know, equal that advertiser, that second advertiser. We just changed the ID to two and we hit save settings. And we'll come over here and we'll refresh and I'll just mouse over and I'll click through. Now, what we have down here before I refresh, we just have the zeros. So I'll refresh, it should be one and one. All right, so now the next, the last feature is deleting an advertiser. Now, um, when you hit delete, it pops up with a warning and it's asking, you know, do you want to delete this or not? Because if you delete it, it's going to be gone. So if, you, if you're sure, you click OK. Now this is the trippy part. It says deleted successfully. Um, and you can't see the link. I haven't. Uh, I don't have the screen all the way up to see the, fu the fully qualified URL up in the address bar. But it's on this update page. So what you're going to see is still see the advertiser here, even though it says it's deleted successfully. So all you have to do is come back and refresh your um, catfish ad settings page by clicking on it and that just kind of reloads it back to the original and now you'll see that it's gone so it does delete you just have to go back up to your tab and hit the catfish ad tab and refresh to show that that advertiser is gone now the next one you enter is going to be three so even though you've deleted it, it the next one is going to auto increment it's still going to be three and it'll just keep going from there so that is basically it you can track all that information and use your own images to get these really cool ads running on your site and being able to sell this this space. I mean, you don't need to actually do anything to the code on your site to adjust it. This goes right over all the content and you can scroll your content. So it's not going to you know completely get in people's way. They can still scroll through the content and read what whatever you have on your site. So it's not going to interfere with that. But if they do get annoyed and you, you know, they want to close the ad, 
then you have a cookie time set on it, or if they go to another page, again, the cookie time is still set, so it won't come back and continually bug them. But it makes a, a great piece of advertisement. But if you found this useful, then go ahead and go to my site and purchase the plugin. The link is in the YouTube notes, and best of luck to you. Thanks.